Hello everyone, I'm Brandy Rose and today we're here to watch the number three Denver Pioneers host the number two North Dakota Fighting Hawks in game one of their two game series. In game one, North Dakota was the first to strike with an early goal by forward Dylan James. But Denver was quick to bounce back, scoring four unanswered goals in the first period from defenseman Shai Buyam and forwards Carter King, Tristan Braz, and Jack Devine. Junior Massimo Rizzo led the team in assists and goalkeeper Freddie Houck recorded 10 saves. The Pioneers heading into the locker room after the first of 4-1, to one, heading off the ice with a total of 12 points to North Dakota's 3. In the second period, the Fighting Hawks indeed fought back, opening up the second period with back-to-back -back goals from forwards Owen McLaughlin and Cameron Bird, bringing them within one early in this period. But Tristan Braz answered back with a goal of his own, his second on the night giving Denver the 5-3 lead to close out the second. Heading into the final period of this one, the Pioneers gave up four unanswered goals, including one to Cameron Berg for his second of the night, leading to a 7-5 loss for this DU team. In Game 2, the Hawks were once again the first on the board, with a goal scored by junior Cameron Berg. On the power play following a five-minute major on forward Tristan Lemire, giving North Dakota the 1-0 lead, heading into the first intermission. But there was still two periods of hockey to be played. DU capitalized on a fast break, and number 7 Aiden Thompson scored DU's first goal of the night. Nodding this one up at one apiece. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, um, yeah, I felt good after. I mean, um, you can just keep making plays and continuing to do things that I can to help the team out. And after a strong defensive period from both teams and a little bit of chirping too, the game was tied, entering the third and final period. Forward Hunter Johannes opened up the third period with a goal, giving them the 2 1 advantage. But reigning NCHC Player of the Month defenseman Zeev Bouillam tied it up at two apiece to send this one into overtime. Junior forward Carter King put this game winner in the back of the net, tallying close to two minutes on the ice in OT, securing the win, and splitting the season series with the Fighting Hawks. Here is what King had to say about his team's improvements. And then just energy on the bench, support for one another was something we really want to focus on today. For the Met Report, I'm Brandi Rose.